And I, <clears throat> I can't speak apparently because I'm choking on nothing. Any hoot, I'm back. And uh, where we last left off, we took over this place that I can't pronounce. So I'm going to rename it. Where shadow of horned rat. Uh, some Italian city. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. I ended this. Um... I ended. Yeah, yeah. I ended this with my turn being over pretty much. Alrighty. So I'm actually going to talk about. Uh, I I mentioned before that I'm something of an aspiring uh, novelist. Like I've had this. I I've had like a shitload of ideas that I've written, scrapped, improved upon, etc. And this all started back in shit 2007. So it's been a little over a decade now. But the one that I'm currently working on, which is kind of my, uh, like, th this this whole story is to me what the Dark Tower series was to Stephen King. And I see Carl Franzler backed off. So I, I've never really touched on what I write about exactly. And it really stemmed from, initially it stemmed from me just having this, um, like, the first one I wrote, I think it, I think it was a fantasy uh, sort of series. I mean, it was, it was complete and utter cheese garbage. If I tried to release that as, like, a thing, it would be left out of the fucking arena. Uh, arena. Uh, left out of the fucking shops and everything like that. What it essentially was about was this, uh... There's these two groups of knights. There's the, the good guy knights, and then there's the not-so-good guy knights. Kind of like, uh, essentially Jedi and Sith, if they work together. Uh, we might... What are we fighting at? Oh, yeah, I, may as well, I mean, I might as well just go out swinging. What the fuck do I got to lose? Fuck, I'll throw everything, I'll throw everything at him. I'll, yeah, let's see if the maximum does actually work. Because every time I put it at the maximum, at least from my vague memory of it, it doesn't give me the actual use. So, quick save again. Even though if I reloaded, it would still just drop back. Here, but, ah, no matter. But essentially it was, yeah, these two groups of knights, and they're, they're out there, like, trying to better themselves and better the uh, the welfare of their nation, which I forgot the damn name of the thing. Again, this is a project that I started back in 2007. That's actually a cool image of the... Uh... Oh, what the hell are these things called? Exalted Lord... Oh, hey. Oh, so you can look at the stuff. Nice, I like it. Uh, yeah, Exalted Lord of Change. But uh, essentially, like, both knights at their core wanted to do the right thing. One just relied more upon acting within the law, and the other one was like, we can go outside of the law if we want to to get the greater good achieved. If it saves lives, let's do it. And the other guy's like, oh, we, we want to save lives, but we can't go outside of the law. And so it focuses on the, the conflicting philosophies between the two. And of course, there's the sorts of other characters. There's uh, vampires. There's some werewolves. Um, I wasn't big into, like, you know, orcs and elves and dwarves and all that type of stuff. Although I think I did, yeah, I think I did include dwarves because I was still like, I, I think it was Warcraft made me somewhat of a fan of, towards dwarves because I like the whole underground, uh, uber technological society that they have. But elves, I've just never been a fan of. Um, Warhammer has turned that around for me and so has Dragon Age because I do like elves in both of these incarnations, particularly the Dark Elves and then for Warcraft or not Warcraft, um, yeah, we can gamble that. For a Dragon Age, I like the City Elves because I actually feel bad for them. Uh, the Dalish, I kind of feel bad for, but they're still, like, they're not making their lot in life any better. Uh, should we corner camp? Yeah, we could corner camp, I think. Yeah, because I can hide behind here and they're, well, actually, no, their they're cannon would be able to hit me. But nonetheless, that's what we'll do. Let's see if I can't split their guys up. Have like all of them assembled here. Skaven, yes, yes. We'll have our main army back here. That'll be our initial front line. Them together. You'll be behind supporting them. Sort of. You'll be back here. I 
Because I want to get him as close to this thing as possible. Hey, that's everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I mean, that's essentially what it boiled down to. And what they were fighting against was essentially trying to fight against the corruption within the whole assorted uh, kingdom they worked for. But again, you know, the, the, the Holy Knights were like, or not the Holy Knights, the uh, good guy knights were like, eh, hey, let's do it by, you know, the legal means. Let's uh, root out the corruption and, you know, let the system work its play. And then the Dark Knights were like, oh, uh, yeah, the system's why we had this fucking mess in the first place. Uh, I didn't get much beyond setting the whole world up and getting a couple of the main characters established. But yeah, I kind of scrapped it just because the whole idea was cheesy, generic. It just, it, it, like, looking back on it, I'm still like, man, that was... I mean, there were a couple of good ideas, I guess, but overall, I just was not satisfied with it. What do we got coming? We got chariots. Actually, if their hell cannons are all alone, I'll spawn these guys right here. Oh, that was a little... That was, yeah, that was too damn far back. Um, after that, I kind of took a break from doing it. Uh oh. What the hell is that? Holy shit. Holy shit. I fucked them up. What the hell? Was that from this dude? Good grief. <laughs> Let's see what wins, like however many units that is versus a single uh, thingy, what's it? Oh shit, get back, get back. Artillery. Don't aim at the trolls, aim at them. And you aim at them. Lord is under attack. Oh, he's fine. No, no, Beholder of truth. Oh, he can use that ability more than once, can he? That's a no bueno. Name it them. Uh, here comes another one of those. Oh, but a, oh, yeah, let's see how much damage this thing actually does. Holy shit. That does not tickle. That does not tickle at all. Attack him. You join in. Oh, they actually beat it. They actually beat it. I'm quite happy for him. Hey, attack the chosen swordsman. Oh yeah, they brought the giant dev, they? You attack him. And you attack the giant. Halberds, you get up here. Did you kill one of the cannons off? Oh no, it just... Broke off of its artillery set. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll talk more about the whole uh, story writing thing once this battle's done, because I'd rather like to get the full story said and then, you know, not like break off because, oh shit, you know, a thing distracted me. Are you guys, you know, you're still fighting that chariot. And you've almost killed it. Got more use out of them than I thought we would. Alright, get up here because our line is starting to break. Oh man, that cannons are hurting. The other melee that aren't doing anything. No, nope, we've got. A, oh wait, yep, yeah, we've got two. Get up here. Damn, he's about dead. And he's dead. Or wounded. What matters is he's not fighting anymore. Hey. That at them. I should get that thing off my back. You guys attack them. Clutch on holy resilience. Beat the shit out of that giant. Victory is in our. Oh wow, we're actually gonna pull this off. Very nice. Hey, you guys just reform there. Hey, you two continue to beat the shit out of that giant. You rally here. And down goes the giant. Have them distract the chariots. Not that I don't... Yeah, these ch yeah, Chosen aren't going to do much either. Ha! <laughs> nice! Oh, you fuckers didn't last long. How are you guys doing? You're winning slightly. Alright, let's pull you out of there. Over here. Artillery, aim there. Come on, keep fleeing. Retreat, retreat. Yeah, back over here. At once. Just now notice that the music had died out for a second. Throw things at them. Send those two to deal with them. Go kill them, my pretties. They will succumb. No, I won't. I don't think I'm going to succumb to anything. 
means you actually got guys actually managed to kill two zero two one. All right, Chaos Warriors, see how good you are against my Warpstone Hell Pit Abominations. Hey, <laughs> you're like, yeah, we don't want none of this shit. We don't want none of this. Boom. Yeah, why don't you shoot at them? You guys take shots at them. Alright, victory! Come on, hurry up. If I can capture, or not capture, but kill a few of them. Oh shit! <laughs> well, down to eight. And he's dead. Jog, beloved ears. Okay, and then they've reduced them down to nothing? Alrighty. Close victory or Pyrrhic? I think it close. Oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Fucking heroic victory. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Never thought I'd get a heroic victory playing as the Skaven. Because heroic is not necessarily a word you associate with Skaven. In fact, you would use it to... Um, Use it as an antithesis to what they do. Except for, I guess, maybe, uh, Queek? And I, and I guess to a certain extent, the other, some of the other warlords. The non-cowardly ones. And, be yeah, beyond the garrison, I don't think I lost, yeah, I didn't lose a single unit to them. Giant's dead, one of the Hell Cannons is dead. One of the Chosen is dead. Then yeah, I, I, yeah, that's right, Sartharael is the, uh, if you're playing as Chaos, you actually end up fighting him once the, quote, Chaos Invasion begins. Because obviously it would be kind of weird for Archaon to fight himself. So yeah, I, I believe it's supposed to be that Cinch throws Sartorial at, um, what's his face? Archeon as like a, a quote test at him just to see what he would do or if he would actually be able to win. And of course the old dude backstabs you because it turns out he works for Cinch or Zinch or however you say the dude's name. I think I've got a name for Pestilos the Corrupted. Well, I'm the anti-Birdman. Not particularly clever or anything like that, but, you know, it fits the fact that he actually beat Chaos mano y mano. I'm sure the fact that it was a Gracier kind of a, pretty much annoys the shit out of Queek. These Chaos Bastards have been giving me trouble for all this time, and the one that actually manages to beat the shit out of them is a fucking Gracier. Kidding me, me? Come on, game, you can do it. Power through the struggle of going through load screens, which is a battle in and of itself. Well, the load screens going to the battle tend to be somewhat speedy. It's the ones after that are just like, all right, let me just sluggishly move on.
Oh, no, they actually lost a few guys. Yeah, they lost that one chariot. Ah, that's funny. And pretty much all the melee units died. Yeah, alright, I will take that. I will touch Black Pillar. Nope, so much for the King's Glade. Hey, is that a faction wiped out? No, it isn't. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'll have to get back onto my whole writing schemes. The next one I worked on didn't come about until... Let's see, I started it in 2009, and it started off as just kind of a... More or less a one-off type deal. And it, it was back when, you know, the young adult novels were the thing, and I was kind of a sucker for a couple of them. Like, you know, I didn't look back on them, and I still don't look back on them as being anything great or literary works of just amazing art or anything like that. They were yeah, they were entertaining, or as I would say, they're pop. It, it was a popcorn novel. When I say that, I mean, it's just something you can casually breeze by, and then you don't really take away much from it. Other than, okay, yeah, that was a good story. I mean, nothing memorable, but it was all right. Uh, one of which was the Vampire Academy series, which the first four books were actually not bad. But after that, the whole thing devolved into just fan service and fantasy fulfillment and all this other nonsense. The ending was just blech. Like, I actually ended up hating the main character. Actually, I hated hating three of the four main characters. And feeling bad for a couple of the side characters that pretty much suffered because of said main characters. But they were put in a position where it looked like the main characters were using them. To And I think I think that might be why there was the spinoff series called uh, Bloodlines, which more or less repaired the damage that was done to these characters. Let's see, there was there was one guy, I think, I think it was Adrian. And he ended up basically being used by the main characters, pretty much a placeholder because the other guy that she was into uh, was like, no, I can't be with you because um, I did some evil dastardly things and I just, I can't, and so fuck you. Claire War? Yeah, Alright, well, walk off then. And another one was, um, uh, I forget the chick's name, but I think she had Imminent Rebellion. We just took the damn city, too. What are they so unhappy about? Your characters, down. provincial inst Characters, what? Apparently, Queek's not popular around here. Okay, so I pretty much Nagash, I think, dealt... Yeah, he dealt with the Gauss invasion. All right, so he's probably going to get that next turn. So you're going to head to Phyrus. And we'll just send you to Zandri. This is the one that I can't... Yeah, it is. All right, so which way should we get... Yeah, we should probably... Yeah, we should continue north, actually. Um, I guess he's going to have to hang around there to deal with that rebellion. You see, we're gonna continue down here. Alright, so you move there. Move your tiles. By yourself. Guide us, Hornet One. And we shall get never mind, no, we won't. That. Azor saying Oh nope, never mind. <clears throat> get that. 
Okay, so you're just content to raiding me, are you? I wouldn't be able to quite reach him. Oh, landed around on top of that, dude. Very well. Very well. For the 13. Yes, yes. Yeah, you head for that. Destroy them clear all, all. Then you siege, and then I'll get the other army, and then I should be able to auto resolve that. All hail, Hornet Rat. We camp here, here. Am I able to? Oh, yes, I am. Bit of a beating they took, but in the end, that works. Ocean of foolhardiness. Uh, equipment gained. Great, great victory. Good, good. Twenty percent charge bonus and breakable. Hmm. I know no pet. Sneaky, tricksy. There's anyone else I necessarily need to move. Let's see, I moved you to. All hail, Hornet. Off you there. Hornet one watches me. I'll move you over here. I should be able to force march him around and then just attack with that army. And if I'm not able to ambush him, then he'll flee, and then these two can take him out, and then we can call it a day. Yeah, some assign skill points. Let's see, what to get you plague? And that. What? Oh shit, I forgot to give him those two guys. God damn it. What? Hold one command. Roll encampment. Get it. Skaven warlord. Expert charge defense. Uh, we'll put that on you. Victory! Yeah, this one I'll just sack. No fast. And you continue on this way. <laughs> Too weak to betray. <laughs> and respected and feared. And we will definitely get rid of these Skaven slave units. Even great clans answer to me, me. I'll keep the slingers because they, they'll be somewhat useful as just you know fodder units. The, the council's voice. Grey seer control there now. Mr. Mixies. Get you to head on. Oh no. Um. Nah, not even worth it. You just head down here. You get after him. Boom. The under empire spreads. Now that's one horde down. Hail Hornet Rat. Chosen. <laughs> Knows I dominate. Uh Fermentide. Can't get evasion yet, so we'll get you best with filth. Blessed with filthiness. And like you, yeah, we're gonna get rid of these scaven slaves. Red mage. And I'll be able to get you a unit. All hail Hornet Rat. Yeah, let's get you actually no, we'll get you three of them. Then yeah, you'll just chill out there for now. Many, many kills today. <laughs> and you just move there, I guess. Uh, we'll send you across this way. Spiny bags. Oh, Speedy Gonzales is back. Good. <laughs> Damn, your health is just like gone to shit. All right, you move up here. And I'll figure out what to do with you. Your bubonic clan. <laughs> Can you do enter replenish replenishment? Can't damage walls because. It does not have walls. Yes, naturally, you can't destroy walls that don't even exist. Go for that. Die, die, thing. Failure. Plus with faith. 
Uh, we'll pop you over here. Still oh, okay, so he's headed for here. Gotcha. Right, we will upgrade you. Well, the upgrade's available everywhere. Eh, why not? Uh, let's see, we'll get it for there. Damage building. Uh, I guess I'll repair it. Stephen Warlord. Any mouse, we'll get you that. And I think that shall do. Ah, oh, so many population surpluses. Let's ah, see, what was another one I read? Uh, that was the Fallen series, but I stopped midway through the second book because it was going full... full-blown cheese, but that one was about, like, angels and demons and stuff, so I was like, eh, you know, the idea is... <laughs> France got wrecked. Uh, I thought the idea sounded interesting because I haven't read, or I hadn't read at that point in time many novels that had the whole demon versus angel type deal like they actually tried to do something with it but by the second book it's like all right it's just another generic romance teen novel bullshit and i mean this is back in 2009 2009 2010 around that time when i was you know just out of high school and then like after reading a couple of these i was starting to realize like these fucking young adult novels are making like fantasy Oh, the vampires are actually gonna fucking beat me for a change. Well, good for you. It's only a minor settlement battle, but... Hey, a win's a win, right? But yeah, that got me to thinking, like, man, all these, like, fantasy elements, you know, like, vampires, werewolves, angels, demons, magic, all that kind of stuff, just getting, like, just fucked by all this garbage. And I mean, it's not to say that if people enjoy it, hey, good for you, more power to you. I had a guilty pleasure for it, but I wouldn't necessarily say I enjoyed it. But I did take away something from it, so therefore it still has meaning to me because I gained something from reading it. <laughs> the basement just fucking wrecked. Colex on here. The basement are the best of friends. And they just destroyed the freaking Great World Tree. I think the Beastmen are the only faction so far that have not been, like, set back in any way. <laughs> we got Malagor pulling a Spartan and... Or a Sparta and just beating the shit out of the Wood Elf... Or two Wood Elven stacks. All by his wee lonesome. Yeah, it's looking like I'm not going to be fighting any Wood Elves. Not that I'm objecting to that idea. I'm actually quite happy to not fight Wood Elves. But yeah, I, that's when I started picking up, like, actual good stuff, you know, uh, some of Stephen King's works, which, the dude can write a good fucking story, just can't fucking end him to save his goddamn life. Now, I have not read the Dark Tower series, but I've read books such as Carrie, uh, Christine, there was another one I read of his that my mother gifted me, it was like right before I got stationed right back down in the good old south. I forgot the name of it. I never got around to reading it. I've read some of Anne Rice's stuff. Um, her stuff's hit and miss for me. Some of it's good, but there are parts of it I'm like, eh, this is a little meh. Um, what else? Or who else, rather? H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, Bits and Bobs of him. I, I definitely love his uh, his ability to actually terrify me, though. Because you know, some of his ideas are freaking splendid. And it's like, you compare what he was able to create versus what's uh, going around today. It's like, man, they just there's just night and day comparisons. You know, especially with people calling it, what was that Netflix film, Veronica, saying, it was so scary, critics had to leave, or they couldn't finish the film because it was just too damn scary. I watched that film, and I was bored for, like, pretty much the entire time. There were maybe two or three moments where it was a little terrifying, but beyond that, I was just like, I, I don't care about this film. I mean, the acting was all well and good. Uh, the main chick was likable. You know, I felt bad for her. She didn't really... I mean, she brought which she, she did bring upon her own suffering, but she didn't. She did it unwittingly. Taking a wealth of two thousand three hundred six gold. 
Oh, Clan Pestilence got destroyed. That makes me the... <coughs> Excuse me. The soul scape. <laughs> Jesus. The soul scaven faction. It's like the game's like, no, you don't get to say it. You don't get to say it. All right, would you be able to just like casually? How oh, sweet you would. Ah, oh, damn it! I gotta fight it. Ah, oh, fine. Did you willing to give me? Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, I forgot to fucking check if the damn thing gives me. The, uh, the actual full seven. So, yeah, let's try that again. Is it a waste of food? Yeah, probably. But still, I want to see if it works. All right, just regular old field then. Oh yeah, who do we got again? Biker Mouse. Uh, the Game of Thrones series is definitely what got me to want to restart actually taking my writing seriously and not just, you know, writing shit for the sake of writing it, but actually making something great, and then that's where I am today. I'll get more into that once we win this little encounter with Rutger Regak. But yeah, as far as, like, my, like my reading, I've gotten way fucking behind on it. It's... It's kind of tragic how far behind I've become, because I have all these books that are just sitting on a shelf collecting dust. And I was like, ah, oh, this book looks good. I think I'll read it. And then I just put it on a shelf. Don't even fucking touch the damn thing again. Like, ah, oh, I've wasted like, you know, hundreds of dollars on books and not reading or not being bothered to read them. One of which is sitting right across from me known as the Iron King, because I had to. I was still I was talking to a friend of mine about um, like we were just having a really rambunctious conversation about uh, the last season of Game of Thrones and how. She was not the biggest fan of it. I oh, was apathetic to it. I was like, it was, it, it's there. It's not the best season. I wouldn't necessarily say it's, actually, I, I guess I would contend that it was the worst season, considering that none of the previous seasons actually were all that bad. The first, the first four being my favorite, although having rewatched some of five, I actually consider five to be up there as well. But 5 was also the last one where they had actual book material to work with. Alright, so what we'll do... Let's have these guys be... Our frontline chargers, and then everybody else in the back is just going to support. And you bounce up there. Yeah, anyways, that conversation with my friend, uh, what was I getting at with that? Shit, I completely forgot what I was getting at with, uh, or where I was going with that old thing. Let's see, yeah, we talked about Game of Thrones. You guys, yeah, you guys just go ahead and charge. Then you three are going to peel off to the side. Same with you, and then you guys are going to be like line breakers. So we need to spread the wealth, rather than the manpower. Oh, we're being greeted by bats. Bats versus rats. Oh, and the bats are fucking off. Flying away to their homes. No, I don't want to get too close. I don't want to provoke them into attacking. Oh, here they come. Come here, you frickers. Holy shit. Fucking murdering them. So you're probably going to end up having to fight them. You go for them. Form up there, rather. All right, never mind. You help them out. You form up here. Yeah, I don't see. It only gave me six instead of the seven I asked for. Like a fast food joint, I got my order wrong. Try to remember what the hell that conversation was boiling down to. Let's see. 
Yeah, we talked about Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, that's right. How she freaking like despises J.K. Rowling. I I I don't mind J.K. Rowling. I just hate J.K. Rowling's virtue signaling bullshit that she's been going on about, like with Dumbledore being gay. And I mean, you know, I'm all for representation in works of literature and whatnot, but Dumbledore. I didn't get the impression that Dumbledore was a gay character when I was reading the books. And plus, she made that announcement after the series had finished. Um, and as for as for the new novels, I I've heard good things about or not novels, uh, movies. Or are, are, are they based on novels? The Extraordinary Beasts and Where to Find Them or what have you. I haven't actually read any of them, so I or watched the movies or read the books, if there are books. But she boiled it down to it being more or less just a cash grab, and I'm kind of like, eh, probably. I I mean, the main series was good. It wasn't great. I didn't find it remarkably the best thing I'd ever read. Granted, it's probably one of the very few young adult novels that are actually solid from start to finish. And I guess I can make the same argument for the Hunger Games. I didn't, I didn't dislike the Hunger Games, but I did kind of tire out from it. It did tire me out at, to a point. And then Divergence was just a clear rip-off of it. A horrible rip-off of that. Like, I... Ugh. I hated the first movie. I, I didn't even bother seeing the second one, because it, it got shat upon by audiences and critics. Uh, like, I thought the Vampire Academy movie was bad. No, this one was way worse. Then I think the third one ended up being straight to TV, which is kind of sad. Although, you know, I say that, I say that it was worse, but at least it was able to shoot out two of its sequels. Whereas Vampire Academy was, like, dead upon entry. However, to the movie's credit, the problem with it is that it was not marketed very well. Or advertised very well, rather. They didn't advertise that movie for shit. So only really the diehard fans knew what it was, and were the ones that were going to see it, and unfortunately that just wasn't enough people. And yeah, critics were largely like, mm, it's a thing, I guess. Uh, plus, it also really, it also released um, in February, where like the last the sieges of the horrible movies of the year were coming out. And every January is when the shit movies come out, right after the holiday season. Speaking of which, last summer was kind of dead for movies entirely. At least I felt that it was. Uh, I know that you're not Raglanders. The enemy lord is dead. Ah! Ah! All right, well, that was fun. Only 170 losses. But yeah, the Hunger Game movies, the first one, I, I actually thoroughly enjoyed the first one. The second one was also really good. Uh, and I was glad that it wasn't like a complete retelling of the first uh, story. It was actually getting you more into the politics behind the actual Hunger Games. The third one, which is also part one of two of the final film, I was I treated it about the same as I treated Harry Potter, the Deathly Hallows part one, where it was pretty much a filler film to set up for the final battle. Like, it was wrapping up everything that had built up to that point while also setting up for the next fight, so it wasn't really its own concise uh, story, which is why I'm glad they don't do the part one, part two thing anymore. Um, even with Harry Potter, I'm like, just make it a three-hour fucking film. <laughs> it's it, it feels more fulfilling when you're able to watch from start to finish, like Lord of the Rings, and what they did, and then, you know, those scenes that aren't in the theater, you can add them in the DVD extended edition, which is what Lord of the Rings fucking did. And the extended edition of Lord of the Rings is fucking awesome. It is the, uh, like, Jeremy Johns considers it to be from start to finish one just gargantuan film. And, yeah, I mean, I would say that that's a fair assessment to make. And from start to finish, it's a fucking great uh, series. 
granted the even with the freaking what five false endings with the end of the third movie and the extended edition makes it worse because i think it adds in a whopping one extra fake ending or not fake any false ending yeah, false fake same thing and then it, you know it finally ends yeah because i think the third film with the extended edition is da- oh i want to say damn near five hours if not a little over five hours What's even funny is that if you watch the extended edition, Sauron actually dies, I want to say, two-thirds of the way through the film rather than, um, or no, the the Battle of Penor Fields is roughly, no. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because there's, yeah, after Sauron dies, there's like one hour of material left after that, or like close to an hour of material That, and I thought the ending of uh, Harry Potter was a little anticlimactic. I mean, I like that Harry and Voldemort confronted each other and that Voldemort was too strong for Harry to overpower on his own because that still that kept Voldemort's uh, presence threatening. You know, it's not like Harry Potter. I have the protagonist's powers. I can defeat the evil. It's not, it's not what happened. And what happened is just that Voldemort fucked himself because his own spell was, ca- was reflected off of Harry and back at him. Victory! Okay, and the game had a little bit of a freakout session there. I am warlord. All right, and then we'll send you to finish him off. Slay murder. Battle fight. Council demands. Eh, we'll give that to you. You will fight. You die, die. You die, die now. All hail, Hornet Rat. Alrighty, Darth Plagueis. And Skillet Scab. Yes, yes. Well, considering Thankwall's dead. All tales are mine. Okay. Love you to go for Faildorf. Oh, whoops, I forgot to send the second army in. Death Frenzy! Eh, well. Death frenzy. Alright, so we'll Warlord. just advance you forward a little bit. Excuse me, are you raiding my... Oh, no, you were raiding the vampire accounts. Never mind. Steven Blight. Uh, let's see, we'll get that. Oh, okay, I guess the... Okay, the characters thing went down, that's good. Oh, that... Oh, duh, I'm an idiot. I was raiding my own fucking territory. Duh. Most masterful of masters. War, yes I do. Uh, yeah, you got. yeah, you guys don't need to help out. Step, step, die, die! Oh, we could massacre them. Probably save that for the next video. And eh, we'll put that on. And eh, we'll put on Peter Pettigrew. Instead of being the coward, he calls his people to be cowards. The council's voice. I order scurry move. We can here. I'll probably end up saving that for next video. <laughs> Eight beaks is mine. Mine. <laughs> Eight beaks no, is yours, and so is Skaven Blight. That wraps everything up for the most part. Yeah, I still need to get Karak Buftar for that, like, shits out an army. Granted, there's no military buildings in there, so I doubt they'll actually do that. Yes, I know, Jerry can't get his skill point. Lake Furnace, and that. You are infected. You're not moved. Eh. I a scary move. Yeah, you just hang out there. You also just hang out there. Wall, 
Eh, I'll send you to help spy on the dwarves. Hey, you move there. And camp out. Uh, guess that. Yeah, I guess I'll upgrade it. Why not? No. No. No, mortal. No. Stink of command. Uh, toxic type. Uh, what to get you, my good sir? Yeah. Make it better against Vargolfs and whatnot. Stench of others. Too strong. That. Uh, do not move. Silent killer. Yes, yes. Yeah, go for it. Sneaking. Open gates. Nicely done. Peter Gonzalez. Um. Yeah, let's just send you up I there for you. now. Yeah, that takes care of our border defense. And yeah, I'm okay with them having I or whatever the hell this place is called. What do you think about it? It kind of reminds me of uh, Spain and Portugal. <laughs> also known as Other Spain. I think it was like a... Uh, I can't remember if it was an image or a video where I saw it referred to as Other Spain. I'm sure the Portuguese. Oh, actually, I'm not sure if the Portuguese took would take offense to that or not. I don't know the exact relations between the two countries. Well, I imagine they get along for the most part, at least diplomatically. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've been out of the loop on politics, so I, I don't particularly know what's what anymore, other than oh, Donald Trump screwed something up again, or he said something that pissed people off, or a school shooting happened, and a bunch of orphans got slaughtered, or just some nonsense like that. The more shit stays the same, the less I, I... Honestly, I hate to say it, but the less I feel the need to care anymore. And it's not that I don't want shit to change. It's just, it's like, is change ever going to actually happen? I mean, are we going to stop, like, belittling each other just because we have differing opinions and actually listen to what the other person has to fucking say? We get off our own fucking high horses? Because, oh no, he has to be the right ones. All right, well, anyway, folks, in the next video, we're going to take out Lucini. Or, well, not take it out, but take it over. We're going to take out the people living in it, though. I'll probably fight it out. I have no problem, like, massacring freaking Norskins. Ooh, shit, yeah, that reminds me. Yeah, they're chilling out there. I should have got the Beastman involved. Fuck. Oh, well, mistake. We'll be remedied. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could just send these two up there to deal with it. Matter of fact, can I move that? Easy again. All right, and then some Italian city. Yeah, it should be fine. Once I take Puccini and unite the province, we should be golden. All right, well, anyway, folks, have a look up lights, and this has been Total War Warhammer 2, and I shall see you all in the next video.